we open this door, the plane's flying wild. Get this fella out of here. Help Ruth take care of him. Flight 3 to airport. Flight 3 to airport. Come in, Saskatch Airport. Okay to land? We're coming in. Stand by with crash wagon and a doctor. We've two wounded men aboard. Now the one of them was seriously injured. Why? Hello, Hudson. Hello, Mac. What happened? Ask Miss Miller. I've got some checking up to do. Sure, go ahead. Brock talking. Go ahead, Gortman. We put Kruger on the transport without any trouble. He'll get Miller's invention and bail out as ordered. Right. I've notified Brandon to pick him up. I'd like to see Mr. Brock. He's busy just now. Would you care to wait? Yes, I'll wait. Name, please. Jim Hudson. Oh, Mr. Hudson. I'm sure Mr. Brock will want to see you. There's a Mr. Jim Hudson here to see you. Send him in. You may go in now. Thank you. What I can't understand is how the masked man got on that plane. I can't imagine. I'll have the airlines people make a thorough investigation. It might lead to something, but I'm sure the crew's in the clear. Well, what do you suppose the masked man was after? I have reason to believe it was some valuable apparatus Dr. Miller has with him. But what puzzles me is how the masked man learned of it. Yes, that is a mystery. Captain Greeter couldn't have planned it. Even if he escaped from the Eskimo village, he couldn't have gotten through to civilization in time. No. Oh, by the way, I notified the marshal to get down at a rescue. He as you ask. Oh, fine. orders, boys. Act like respectable officers of the law. If the Eskimos give us any trouble, we let them have it. Well, I guess all we can do for the moment is sit tight. I have a hunch the mystery man will be popping up again. It's too bad, but war always seems to bring an increase in lawlessness. I've been thinking of calling a meeting to discuss local defense. Not a bad idea. Greetings to you, Chief. I'm the Marshal. I've come for the prisoners. Where are they? That man's in house. I show. These bad men. Guards go now? Yeah, I'll get rid of your guards. Hey, 
Nagel. This is swell. When I heard the plane, I thought it was a real marshal. Brock's too smart to let that happen. Is it Dr. House? Yeah, yeah. Greedy, you're to keep undercover. I'll drop you off in Bankhead. And you'd better put these on. <laughs> How are you feeling these days? No ill effects from your wounds? Oh, a few aches and pains now and then when it rains. Like an old man with rheumatism. Well, give my regards to your father. Thanks, I'll do that. We're going up the mine the first thing in the morning. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye and good luck. Tell me this is Ruth. This is Ruth. <laughs> oh, Pop, I want you to meet a pal of mine, Mr. Higgins. Just call him Boson. He's a handy little man to have around, too. Well, besides, I might agree with you. You like to fight? No, I don't like to fight. That's why I like to get it over with in a hurry. <laughs> <laughs> Come on inside. Give me the lowdown. Well, I stopped in town long enough to bang Mr. Brock, then we came on up here. That's about all there is to it. About all. No, it's not exactly what I'd call a dull trip. <laughs> It burns me up, that's what it does. What does, Mr. Hudson? In fact, I missed all the fun. <laughs> Makes my story about hijackers sound kind of sick. Hijackers? You been having trouble, Bill? Oh, a little the past few days. Lost a couple of loads of pay dirt. That's kind of funny. You've never had any trouble like that before, have you, Pop? No. I wonder if that could tie in with the people who've been after you, Doc. Is it possible they already know about this ore you came up here to experiment with? Mm, it's possible. Though I, for one, don't intend wasting time in idle speculation. What I want is a look at that energized quartz you have around here, Bill. Well, come on. I'll show it to you right now. All right. All right. exactly where old Grit found the quartz. He says there's a whole pocket of the stuff. Jim, put off that light and watch it glow. Whoa. Whoa. That's amazing. Oh, here's Grit now. Folks, this is Grit Hartman. How are you, Grit? Hello, Grit. Hi, folks. Bosun Grit. Hello, hello. How are you? Grit's the one who discovered the quartz. Oh. You tell you all about it. Yeah, and then I do. Watch out, Doc. Don't touch that stuff. It'll knock you for a loop. That's the way I found it. I was in here digging for pay dirt one day, and all of a sudden my pick struck something and it knocked me clean across this tunnel for 20 feet. I landed right about over there. <laughs> you hurt? Huh? Oh, as I was saying, I landed just about right here. Hey, look at this pick. It melted the end right off. Well, that is really amazing. Whoa, oh, Doc! Stop that way! It'll kick you the same as it did me. If you have a go at a little bit at a time, it won't kick your ears back. Here, I'll show you. Hey! Oh. See what I mean? Here, Doc. Use my glove. Thank you. Feel the heat. Has a sensation like an electric current. What's the verdict, Doc? I don't know. It doesn't come under any of the known classifications. Well, then it's a discovery. Absolutely. Well, what about the paratron? Do you think it'll make it work? I have a feeling it may. Well, the only way to find out is to try. I'm certain the quartz contains a mineral form of energy that is akin to radium. It throws off a strong atomic energy. There's no way gaseous. Or you might see like a power wave. All right. Jim, would you please hold the receiver? And uh, stand over there. Now, the rest of you stand back.
dock. He carried it. Look! Yes, yes, it's there. With enough of this energized course, perhaps in concentrated form, we may be able to send it for miles. Bill, do you think you could start mining this for me right away? Why not? I may need tons of it. Who knows what energy a ton may contain if concentrated into a pound? This may be the basic secret of atomic energy. If it were not for this lack of energy, the paratron would work successfully. Then you feel that with the mineral they've discovered at the Hudson mine, the doctor may have an answer to his problem? Yes, that's my opinion. For that reason, and because Dr. Miller is the only person who knows the real secret, I insist that he must be kept alive, at least until he completes the experiment. Hmm. Maybe you're right. Perhaps we'd better let old Bill Hudson alone for a while, throw them off the scent. Yes, I think it would be much wiser. Well, I'll get in touch with Brandon and call him off. And what is supposed to have happened to me? You're supposed to be dead. You better lie low for a while. Point C2 receiving. Brandon? No, this is Kurtz. Now, let me speak to Brandon. He's not here. Our man at the Hudson Mine stepped us off. There were two truckloads of that pay dirt coming down, so Brandon went out to get it. Who gave him the orders? You did, boss. Now, Brandon thought there might be some of that high-voltage rock on them trucks. That was last week, you idiot. Now, you get out and stop Brandon before he reaches the trucks. Too late, boss. They're due to be coming down now. Good luck to you, Jim. Get her through. Don't worry, Pop. We will. And you see to it that he doesn't take any chances. You know me, miss. I hate trouble. Thank you. 